in this video we are going to look at 20 different uh, free fonts or typefaces actually that are going to help you build any kind of UI design whether you are designing a mobile app or a website or a web app these fonts don't go wrong so there are some Google fonts there are some other free fonts that I have discussed so they are actually 20 plus fonts so let's see what are those fonts so first typeface I'm going to talk about is Barlow and Barlow is by Google fonts and you can see over here it is almost perfect uh, very uh, easy to read on smaller sizes so if I play this you can see over here here we have this whole uh, layout and you can see it is looking great it is very clear very readable a lot of uh, great uh, you can say curves and everything is balanced so this is the first um, you can say typeface uh, which I really like now next moving on we are going to move on to the next one which is this inter so inter is actually uh, I think one of my favorite uh, typefaces because it is uh, sans serif and also it is modern sans serif and uh, I think it will look great even on small sizes because you can see over here it is a bit shorter in height and wider so uh, these kind of uh, you can say uh, these typefaces that are built just for user interfaces are going to look really great on any kind of UI design so if you are designing or building next uh, a mobile app or anything like that uh, try to use this interview inter uh, typeface you can download it I'm going to share the links of uh, the um, these typefaces which are not Google typefaces so uh, make sure you read the description of this video now next one I'm going to talk about is this one from IBM IBM Plex uh, although it doesn't have a very uh, thick uh, bold font over here or extra bold but I think it is going to work well with a lot of interfaces like you can see over here uh, the 5 and 5.8 million uh, have a very unique style so you can see the ending uh, of these strokes over here like you can see over P they are very slim so it has some you can say curvy nature to it like you can see over here G is double story so it has a lot of different features than other um, you can say typefaces and uh, it can work very really well on any kind of UI design whether you are building a dashboard or anything of kind like that so next I'm going to talk about very less known typeface which is R Gentum or Argentum uh, Sans so this is another one it is a bit wider and thick font uh, you can use it and it has more you can say uh, more heaviness into it you can see over here it is a regular font and it is very um, thick so it is uh, great for building I think dashboards or any kind of uh, UI design where you are going to have a very thick or bold typefaces so this is another one and Argentum Sans next we have uh, this is also one of my favorite it is called Metropolis it is kind of a geometric sans serif a little bit geometric little bit mm, humanist and I really love it it is um, uh, the the proportion of the you can see letters they are wide they are short uh, they are beautiful you can see over here not too much of a difference between the thick and thin but they look really great so you can see over here the num numbers so if you are building a dashboard with some numbers or graphs they are going to look great with this metropolis typeface and uh, metropolis is actually from uh, font squirrel so if you want to download it you need to go to font squirrel you can download uh, all the um, typefaces which i uh, which are not google typefaces i'm going to share the link in the description so you can download them then we have this public sans it is developed by usa government uh, and um, this is also one of the best typefaces i have seen uh, it is very recent very modern designed i think just um, six or months or maybe one year ago so this is also going to work in any kind of ui design then we have one more which is from google fonts catamaran and uh, it is a bit of playful font uh, you can see it has very uh, different cuts over here on the top of this uh, stroke over here then we have uh, 
uh, this um, very thin and thin where the two strokes are met meeting they have very thin line over here like you can see over here u and uh, the numbers are great and um, i think this can also work on a lot of interfaces uh, so and it also has a lot of styles so i think um, if i go over here you can see it has more than eight styles one two three four five six seven eight nine so always make sure whatever you are using it has at least uh, six uh, more than six styles let's go to the next uh, font over here or typeface actually so these are all free typefaces one of uh, one another favorite from my google fonts is source sense pro this is also going to work on almost all interfaces and this is also one of my favorite fonts from google uh, then we have Fira Sans. Okay, so Fira Sans is is another one, and it is going to also look great. It has some character to it, a um, lot more curvy and different angles um, uh, in the letters. You can see over here if you uh, look closely on this A, you can see it has a very uh, unique style, and uh, Y also has a very unique style. So uh, also you can see the top of these uh, Ks and as they have very a slanted uh, behavior over here so this is i think a uh, very nice uh, humanist sans serif and uh, i really love this one too so you can use it in any project you have fira sans then we have another one which is pure geometric font and it is uh, monster art i think monster art yes it is monster art and you can see over here the o it is perfect circle also this o so it is mostly built on geometric shapes and uh, it also looks great the numbers you can see over here they are looking very clear uh, very uh, easy to read so this is another one you can use in your uh, you can say ui designs then we have rubik rubik is actually have some uh, soft corners so it is not very you know thick but you can use it uh, in different uh, situations where you might be looking for a typeface that has not very, uh, you know, very sleek or very sharp edges. So maybe uh, some technology firm that is uh, that have some soft, uh, you can you can say edge to it. Maybe some something some technology that is related to healthcare or something like that. You can use this font which is typeface which is rubik now next we have muli or muli whatever you call it i call it muli it is by google and it is also uh, a very nice font um, mostly built on geometric geometric shapes uh, but it has some deviations like you can see this o is not perfectly circle it is a bit of an oval shape within a uh, same shape you can see over here within this a's and uh, I really like it. It is a bit wider font. It will be very clear and very easy to read on smaller sizes, which is a one key feature of any kind of typeface you are going to use for mobile apps. So this is another one. It is very great font by Google. Then we have um, Google fonts. Then we have this red hat by Font Squirrel. So it is a bit edgy font. We have a lot of edges, sharp edges you can see over here. Um, B, uh, L, and we have, diff it is built on geometric shapes, but it has some different character characteristics, like I really like this Y, uh, these uh, curvy uh, ends of these, uh, these strokes of these uh, L and K, and you can see, uh, you can use it in any kind of UI design. Okay, so next we have prompt. I really don't like this prompt font. It is by typefaces by Google, uh, but I really don't like this one. I I'm not sure, maybe it's my own, um, you can say, uh, own judgment, but I, I don't recommend too much uh, of uh, usage of this prompt font for UI designs. Maybe you can use um, some of, uh, maybe like just using its uh, regular type uh, font or maybe it's thick font for headings or something like that or maybe using it for numbers so let's see if yes numbers so numbers uh, are looking great in prompt uh, otherwise i don't like uh, this one uh, uh, much okay 
so if i am going to build something i'm not going to use this prompt let's see next one okay so we have over here um oops let's go back to the top over here come on three yes uh, okay, so we have Poppins over here. So it is also another geometric font and uh, I think you can use it uh, in a lot of type of different interfaces. Let's see how it looks. So here we have it. You can see it is looking great. And um, I think we don't need much, uh, you can say, changes over here. So it is looking really great. This is also Poppins. Uh, also, it's all caps, looks great, so I would really love to use it in different projects. Then we have DM Sans. DM Sans is another Google font uh, typeface, and you can see over here it is, it is also looking great uh, on different sizes. But the only thing I miss over here is very thick or extra bold or black. Mm, uh, fonts uh, font over here so it doesn't have that variation i really like like this g over here and uh, you, this is another one you can use it for uh, any kind of ui design projects next font is nonito sans it is also one of my favorite fonts from google and i think you can uh, use it in any kind of mobile app design or any other kind of design. It looks great on smaller sizes. It has a lot of different um, weights. You can see over here extra light, light, regular, semi bold, bold, extra bold, black. So right now I'm using black and this one is regular. So this is another one. Let me show you how it looks. It is looking great. That is why I have uh, created this sample. Um, sample design to show you how these actually these fonts look and feel uh, in uh, actual design then we have ASAP uh, one of my favorite fonts it has very soft corners very rounded font uh, sans serif and I really like it I really like it I, I use it a lot uh, mostly as my paragraph or body text you can see over here it looks great it is very readable very nice characters so this is another one you can use in your UI design. And uh, let's see a few more. Okay, so this is, I think, going to be the last one. Let's see, we have another one, okay. So this is Fira Go. It is another uh, free font. I think it is not Google font. It is available as a side project. And uh, you can also download it. Uh, I will share the links. So you need don't need to worry. Let me show you how it actually looks and feels. You can see over here very nice curvy uh, uh, typeface and uh, I really love how uh, this J is actually. Uh, I love the J and also you can see uh, the top of these uh, letters where we have these downstrokes, main stroke. Uh, we have very curvy starting or ending. So this is another uh, humanist typeface, sans serif. I really love it um, and you can use it in your UI designs. Okay, now here is the another one which is called Cooper Habit, and uh, it is by Font Squirrel. It is another free font. Let me show you how it looks. It is a bit taller. You can see over here uh, the letter forms are a bit taller. You need to consider all these points. Some fonts are wider. They have more thick, they are more uh, wider in the horizontal direction. Some are taller, they are in a vertical form. So you need to consider both these. Uh, some Sometimes they don't work uh, on each situation. But this is uh, another one which you can use, Cooper Habit. It is also by Font Squirrel. I am going to share all the links. Let me see if we have another one. Yes, we have another one. And I also like this one too. So this is Eliron. Uh, this is also by Font Squirrel and you can see it also looks great and it can work in any kind of UI design project. So this is another one, Eliron, it is also by Font Squirrel. Okay, so that was the last one. I think we have discussed like 21 uh, different type combinations uh, or typefaces you can use in your UI design. If you want to download this file, uh, I can put it uh, in a Dropbox link so you can download it right now. Uh, you can um, also download, I am going to share the links of all these fonts you can, which are not Google fonts. So you can download them, particularly this Inter, I love this one. 
Okay, so if you have any favorite font or anything you want uh, to share with me that this one looks great and it can work in any kind of UI design, which I have missed or I haven't noticed, uh, you can share it in the comments. So make sure you uh, uh, see the description of this video to download these fonts. Uh, the custom uh, the, the free fonts and if you have any suggestions you can always comment and ask me i will keep on creating such videos if you have any questions you can also ask me in the comments and uh, i will reply to that don't forget to like and share and subscribe this video because um, that is what i really need right now okay so uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I will keep on making such videos I'm going to make another one which is going to be font combination five font combinations uh, with um, free fonts of uh, sans serif and serif fonts So let's move on and we'll meet you in another video